Well, it's good morning right now. Well, it's still technically morning. And I just got some new pickups. There's a nice wicket. It's VC27. I just got these in yesterday. So I'm trying to catch up. I'm still collecting these, trying to get the original OTBC, the original trilogy collection. These are actually my favorite figures. You know what? I mean, that is an amazing figure for 2004. Or no, when was this one? I think this is 2000, 2007. And look at these card backs. That is so vastly superior. So I've got pretty much, yeah, I got all these. I got all these right here. I don't know if I've made a video of that. Once I get my basement done, I'll, uh, you know, have a big display. Luke Skywalker. Should have gotten darker hair, but that's actually not that bad. I mean, this has got to be what? This is, oh, this is another, yeah, this is 2007 as well. Look at that. Celebrate the legendary Star Wars. Yeah, the OTBC. Great figure. And, what do you know, Princess Leia? You know, that's actually, geez, it's actually in some ways that's almost like a better head sculpt than some of the stuff I've seen that's come out since. Now, I got the new 50th anniversary version as well. I don't know if I made a video on that. But uh, that's a beautiful card back. I like it. They're nice and unpunched. See that? No punch there. Like that is, these are awesome. You know what? They really nailed it when they did these uh, OTVCs. I know some people, they seem to talk shit about them now, but uh, I don't know why. But I think they're forgetting. And I picked up this uh, from the same, uh, it was a Kijiji retail. And I just couldn't resist. It was only 40 bucks. So yeah, it came in pretty damn good condition, I would say. VC27, show that one again. See, this is so much better. Anyways, I gotta get that Yoda. I gotta get the Gamorrean Guard. How old? I'll get that Luke. I st there's still a bunch of these I need to get. So I'm catching up, and a little while ago, I also picked up one of the new Yodas, but I don't know what the hell I did with it. Anyways, there it is, Lando Calrissian. Billy D. Williams. Good figure. I couldn't resist. He was so good. And like he was such a good actor. Or is still alive. Um, but even he could not save the sequel movies. I don't know how anybody really can't see that those were not done properly. A lot of good actors though, but a complete waste. I don't know what else I have to show. What else did I get that I forgot to make a video of? And I show Vader. Mmm. I'll show something cool. I don't know if I did a video on this one. I've been buying these. These are so expensive. I'm going broke. VC05. And here's an ex a real expensive one. Unpunched. I have a punched version as well. You don't even want to know what I spent on that. I can't resist. This is the best card back of Vader, in my opinion. It's just the classic one. I have the uh, Return of the Jedi one from 1983 as well. That is literally my favorite card back in figure. And it's interesting how they did this. I would have liked the exact same figure, but not with the Emperor's, uh, you know, the blue stuff. I would have just like a nice clean version of this as well. But uh, that was a good one. I don't know if I... Yeah, I don't know what I did with... I had this other Yoda. I don't know where I put it. Oh, whatever. We'll get to them eventually. I'm catching up, so... One day I'll do a good video on them, but... Uh, yeah, I'll show Lando one more time. Look at that. It's good Good script. Good... Uh, Billy D. Sorry about my reflection there. I put it in a case. And there were two of them on there, so I bought one. I was tempted to buy them both because I wouldn't mind doing loose, but I'm just trying to catch up and it's just, I don't know. I need to win the lottery. I could spend like a hundred grand on Star Wars stuff. I'd probably do it in like a New York minute too. Be, the, be known as the local idiot. 
But uh, anyways, these figures are, are just too cool. But yeah, lots of new product keeps coming out. And I don't know what it is. Whenever I go to Walmart, it's always uh, it's always mess. You know, whenever I'm there, everything's sold out, gone. And um, but even these, like I know there's tons of Landos hitting the market, and there's that new uh, Rebel, not Rebel, the uh, Bespin Lando that just came out that people are doing reviews on. Mine's on pre-order. You know, but um, I don't know. I live out in the middle of nowhere, so. It is what it is, but look at that Lando. And I love these, I gotta say it again. That's a great figure. And the figure's okay, I mean, like, uh, I mean, her poncho, you know, that poncho sucks. I mean, it's not, you know, the new one is, you know, let me get the new one. Ugh. You know, I mean, like, look at the comparison. Right. It'd be nice if you had the unpunched. I mean, the 50th anniversary thing looks okay. It looks good, but I would like a clean version. So, there it is. You know, let's see if we can get a good... Yeah, her face right there. Or this face. Yeah, this is a lot better. It's nice and cleaner, better material, but I like how this one all came, the OTVC. So anyways, there it is, signing out. I'll just give one last visual of this one. But hey, look, the card back, that's horrendous. You know, half of it is this. Like, what the, why is this all here? I don't, oh, this is so much legal, you know, good God. Good Lord.